What makes Cambridge special? Well, that's an interesting question for me. Uh, there are a number of things. One is uh, the complexity of it, who lives here. Uh, another thing that makes uh, Cambridge special for me is the scale. It's small, uh, it's intimate that way, but it has these little neighborhoods that tend to all be, have different flavors. And that you kind of can't move through the center of Cambridge without confronting the complexity of Cambridge. As a recent transplant to Cambridge, I would say one of the major values is around education. And I love the fact that people come from different backgrounds, different educational experiences, and they come together wanting to move the community forward. Well, Cambridge is special to me because I've lived here all my life, all 88 years. And I love it. It's, of course, it's changed, but um, it's definitely home. <laughs> um, I think the values are pretty straightforward. Um, they're the values of uh, fairness, openness, and inclusion. Everybody who's a part of this community is, 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 is a helping hand to the community. So anybody who wants to be a valuable part has to play their part. Values, I hope to think that they're respect for everybody. I feel that, but I hope that everybody feels respect for all the different people who are here and want to pull together for whatever direction they want to go in and whatever jobs they want to get. It's a place that is confronted with the real challenges of what any, every city is kind of facing right now. Is growth, development, sustainability, holding on to its history, making it a place for everyone. And it's trying to step into those challenges some way, sometimes gracefully, and sometimes not so well. The people who live here, I've watched them. They're not, I don't want to say not invested, but they don't seem like they've, they're binding together to become like this big locomotive for those who are here and those who plan to come here. Yeah, we're continuing to make Cambridge a very attractive place for um, not only individuals, but also companies. And you see a rise in cost of living around. And so one of the challenges I see is the affordability of Cambridge and making sure that we maintain the diversity um, in the community because to the extent that we have diverse peoples in the community, we're solving a broader um, spectrum of problems. Well, I think, I hope that the city can handle all the growth that's happening now and it's very high tech and one of the disadvantages of that is that everybody has to be pretty well educated to participate in that. that my, my fear is that what I'm dreaming for the square because I'm a part of it may not happen. I mean there's a lot of money being made here through real estate and through the university and I don't know if it will become what we want it to be, because as you know, supply and demand, I mean, the supply is to bring things to the square to keep businesses going, and, and I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Are we actually structured, you know? Are we organized in a way that actually allows this public to work together to figure out what this place should be, how it should operate, and that everyone has a voice and actually uh, being able to contribute to that. So I would love for Cambridge to continue to be um, a place where people can come and learn, connect, and be activated around innovation because my role in the community is, is being an innovator. And so um, I would love to see um, a Cambridge where no matter your age, uh, your status in life, where you've come from, where you were born, that you're activated and excited around innovation. And again, it's really about how, how many of the world's problems can we solve by activating people of different backgrounds to solve those problems. I've always had this thought that the measure of what Cambridge should look at itself is one simple measure. Can it ensure and create an educational system that gets everyone through high school competent? And then can it be a place where everyone who graduated from that school can continue to live. And those are the two measures that it should have. And if it can do those two things, then I think it can create a great city. Um, my hope for Cambridge would be that there would be an increasing valuing and support of common ground, the, the sort of fundamental resources that every citizen needs uh, to lead a productive life. And I think that the Cambridge Community Foundation plays a vital role in terms of um, creating and uh, being a steward of that common ground.
Cambridge is a city that is proud of its diversity. Every person in Cambridge is a small part of a larger dream. That is to become a community of individuality. Understanding and respect. Citizenship and promise. Here in Cambridge, we strive to become a more united community. For the benefit of future generations. And to continue to have diversity flourish in our city. That's why we focus on our people. Because they are the basis of this vibrant city. Help keep Cambridge an innovative city that is culturally rich, socially just, and equitable.